Hey there, group. Eric William here with the <laughs> Saturday Fright Theater out here at Horror Hotel with a longtime friend. Nathan, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you have got so much on uh, the cooker. I, I, I can't even explain it all. So I tell you what, uh, introduce your folks, uh, yourself to the folks out there and uh, tell us what brought you out here to Horror Hotel. Uh, my name is Nathan Ludwig. I'm a screenwriter, and sometimes I make short films. Mostly a writer, author, screenwriter. And I also run the Genre Blast Film Festival in Winchester, Virginia. And I tell you what, as, as you can maybe see here, the Genre Blast Film Festival is amazing. It is one of the best times outside of, I would say, Horror Hotel, anywhere. It's just mm -hmm. it's the Alamo Draft House hosts it and it is amazing so for hotel number one <laughs> genre genre blast blast number two, two. It, it, oh. close to that <laughs> <laughs> so um tell us a little bit about you you have a uh, script here this year correct i have like seven i was gonna say i at least one i know well i have i have five that i wrote okay i've been i've been stocking them up for <laughs> for, for some place to submit them to and then i have two that i co-wrote with my writing partner chad farmer chad okay yeah. mm -hmm. all right i love chad by the way shout out to chad, shout out to chad farmer. <laughs> he was he was gonna come but he he oh. ran out of sick he got sick and used his sick days and could not come could not come but he was oh. close to coming I love Chad, and, and it, is Chad still doing the uh, grind exploitation? Grind doing the grind exploitation. It's now called the Nuga Underground Film Festival. Oh wow! Enough. Okay. Enough. That, that actually happened at the end of mm, April. April. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say. I, I know it was. It's close. You know, mm -hmm. as far as that goes. But that's. Oh, love Chad. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So tell us a little bit about the the uh, the scripts you have here. So I've got one script called uh, Me, the Jury, and it's kind of like a sci-fi horror satire of how juries deliberate during serious crimes. Mm -hmm. And so the premise is that the jury has to fight it out amongst themselves, and whoever is the last standing juror and kills all the others gets to decide whether the defendant is guilty or innocent. So, and there's a little bit of social media kind of stuff in there, too, right. and... It's it's just kind of like an indictment of like what's going on with our society. I was going to say that's also a dark comedy too. Okay, yeah. which which is like a perfect dark comedy, mm -hmm. especially for today's time. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, and I've also got one called "It Was Probably Just the Wind." And okay, it's a very goofy haunted house comedy about a uh, a skeptic who has a fetish for haunted houses, <laughs> and he, he likes to move into them and see if they're really haunted or not. And his wife is, of course, the put upon one, and has to bear the brunt of being possessed and being you know scared by the ghosts right. and everything. So. Yeah, that's it's just a tongue in cheek little little comedy. Little comedy. Yeah. And what else you got? Well, if you want to go Come on, let's just keep them, going. I got one called Method Hack, which I'm actually turning into a book right now. That's going to be my next book after oh Love Potion 666. Okay. And it's kind of a showbiz satire mixed with cosmic horror about mm -hmm. a former child star who's been disgraced and he's kind of just doing really low budget horror movies to make ends meet mm -hmm. and this mysterious director comes up to him and says hey I've got the role of a lifetime for you I wrote the script just for you and he reads it and it's the best thing he's ever read in right. his life and it's like his big comeback but the only catch is he has to take this weird bizarre method acting course that gets more cosmic horror-y as it goes on and it gets more like it's like Fight Club crossed with like a, a Lovecraft kind of thing oh. and it gets more and more sinister but he can't back out of it once he starts it oh so my gosh. It, it gets really crazy yeah I want to watch that so bad. <laughs> so that's that's like a longer short script. It's like okay. 50, 60 pages. So. Well, that's 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 amazing. Yeah, and, and keep, keep going. <laughs> what else you got? So we also got um, the ones I co-wrote with Chad. One's called Snore Whore. Okay. And, <laughs> and it is. It's, I love it. It's about a guy who with narcolepsy who um, who answers an ad for a call girl and okay. goes over to her house and unwittingly finds out that it's actually a trap orchestrated by a brother-sister serial killer team nice to trap of him course. and his brother to, to kill them to sacrifice them to satan and it gets a little weird from there <laughs> gets a little weird <laughs> and then extra butter is just a wholesome extraterrestrial alien abduction horror comedy just it's a wholesome <laughs> that ends with a dick monster coming out of a bucket of popcorn you had me a dick, bon <laughs> dick monster coming out of a butter of popcorn. And as you can tell, the ones that I wrote with Chad are more unhinged. Because, I was going to say. I was, yeah. Yeah. Because he loves that grindhouse, crazy gore stuff. Chad is insane. I love you, Chad. <laughs> and my book is inspired by I was going to say. Let's, let's talk a little bit about your book. that Because I legitimately, I cannot wait to read this. I have not read it yet. I bought a copy here tonight at Horror mm -hmm. Hotel. Thank you. And Love Potion number 666. Uh, tell us a little bit about this and everything about this, because folks, let, 
legitimately he is an author now. Yeah, published. Published author. It's it's, cool. it's amazing, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just can't believe this that you know, the, this buddy I met, you know, years ago mm-hmm. talking wrestling and movies and <laughs> now he's a published author. So congratulations, number Thank one. Thank you very much. And uh, number two, tell us a little bit about Love Potion six six six. So it all started as a short screenplay that we wrote for a horror film anthology we were gonna shoot in Oregon called mm-hmm. Lurk. And Chad wrote this short screenplay called Dead of Night, which has these all the main characters in this book, all these crazy characters trying to kill each other out in the woods. And I was like, I really like these characters. They're crazy. They're messed up. And it kind of, you know, just time just went on. We went on to make a couple short films. The feature film just fell through. It didn't. It's a disaster. It's a documentary <laughs> all in its own self. <laughs> and I kept thinking about those characters that he wrote. And I'm like, I really like those characters. I'm like, I'm kind of obsessed with them. And I was like, Chad, you're not really doing anything with this. Can I turn this into my own feature screenplay. Is that yeah. cool with you? He's like, yeah, go ahead, do whatever you want with them. So I turned it into Love Potion number 666, the feature screenplay, which mm-hmm. I submitted to a bunch of festivals, including Horror Hotel, and it won a bunch of awards. Right. But no one was really interested in making it because mm-hmm. it's it's pretty mean-spirited. It's right. a pretty crazy grindhouse, really violent, really mean-spirited, nihilistic, but funny, dark, <laughs> but funny. Comedy, you know, <laughs> right. action horror grindhouse romp. And it's not for everyone. And I submitted it to like the Nickel Fellowship, which is like the Academy Awards screenplay competition. Right. And the feedback I got for it, I'm going to put it on a plaque. They s- it basically said it was too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> they said they blushed when they read it. They said they said it was just not like. Uh, so I just imagine some Midwestern judge right. that just reads like dramas and comedies got to yeah. sign that, and they were like, "Oh my, oh my, oh my," because there's a lot of the, there's a lot of the sexy stuff in it too. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, "Well, what am I going to do with this?" Right. You know. So yeah. I decided I'm going to turn it into a novel or a novella. It started off as a novella, and now it's ballooned to like 200 pages. So technically, it's like a novel. Right. So I was going to say this is a novel yeah and so dnt publishing which is kind of like the hot new indie genre press publisher uh for the last couple of years I, I, I had they had an open call in 2020 yeah uh 2021 and i submitted it there and it got published so wow well congratulations i cannot wait to watch this especially after what everything you've just told mm-hmm. me so i and folks check this out and where's this uh where's this available you can get it on Amazon. Amazon. Amazon Kindle. It's on paperback and hardcover on Amazon. You can get it on Godless, which is another ebook service, godless.com. And uh, it's available wherever books are sold. You can probably order it on Barnes and Noble, any kind of online ordering site. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and I tell you what, before I let you go, I, I would be uh, remiss if I didn't talk about Worst Laid Plans. Yes. So, Worst Laid Plans is something that I know. Genre Blast has been involved in a little bit, mm-hmm. and you have been involved in, mm-hmm. and it, you actually have said it's in post-production. So mm-hmm. if you could, tell a little bit about uh, Worst Laid Plans out there to the folks. Yeah, so Genre Blast Film Festival is the festival that we started several years ago, and we decided to branch out into producing films. So Genre Blast Films was born last year, and we crowdfunded our first feature film called right. Worst Laid Plans, which is based on a book of a vacation anthology horror that was published by Grindhouse Press. And Samantha Koyesnik, who is my producing partner, kind of came to me and was like, do you want to do this together? So we crowdfunded on Indiegogo. It was a big success. We raised like $45,000 for the for principal photography. Yeah. We raised another 4000 for post, which just ended last night. So we should be able to premiere it at John or Blast uh, Film Festival, a special oh. screening. But it's three segments. It's all about vacation horror. One's a road trip from hell. The other one's got a catfish monster in a cave. And <laughs> Yeah, and I was going to say, I've seen some of the... <laughs> another one's a, a, kind of a thr- like an abduction thriller at a amusement park. So uh, they're all very different. They're all very horror. Like yeah. one's very disturbing and sad. One's, one's just a fun monster movie. And the other one's like a creepy alien abduction kind of thing. It, it, what's beauty, beautiful about it is you've had directors and filmmakers from genre blast like John Hale, mm-hmm. um, uh, Jeremy Herbert, mm-hmm. and I, I Christopher believe, G. Moore. And, and Christopher G. Moore. So you've had so many people that have been in the genre blast mm-hmm. family that are doing this movie now. It's I, I personally cannot wait to see this. And folks, I'm telling I can't you, wait either. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the rough cuts of the films and they look great, but I can't wait to be able to see it. With everybody else on, on the right, screen, when on it's the all screen. polished and all finished. So, folks, if you are the Labor Day weekend, John Blast with six now? John Blast seven. Seven. Oh, my gosh. You were there for that's, six. That's right. Yeah, I was there for <laughs> six, five. I, it's it's hard to believe with all the years that's yeah. gone by. But September 1st through 4th, Labor Day weekend at Labor the Alamo Draft House Cinema in Winchester, Virginia. We're there every Labor Day weekend for the Genre Blast Film Festival. We play action, horror, adventure, oh. fantasy, martial arts, all the good stuff. 
There has been so many, so many great movies. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait for Worst Laid Plans. I, so I'm just, I'm super. You're going to be there. I'm, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I'm so folks. excited. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I, I tell you what, Nathan, uh, for the folks out there, one last time, let's tell you, uh, where can they find you? Where can they find John or Blast? Where mm-hmm. can they find everything? Social media, websites, what do you got? Uh, just find, just look for Lugenhausen, at Lugenhausen for my personal stuff, L O O G E N. H-A-U-S-E-N, Lugenhausen, one word, for all my personal social media. And just search Genre Blast on, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Genre Blast. Genre Blast. And then you'll find us there. Oh, it's amazing. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Thank you so much, Nathan, for joining us. And uh, congratulations on uh, Love Potion number 666. Yes. And I uh, can't wait to read this. I am probably going to put this uh, through my memory banks tonight. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but again, thank you so much. We'll get you back to Horror Hotel. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to get you back to the show right here on Saturday Friday Theater, where every night is a frightful night when you're watching a movie. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>